sai aka kakkashe da aka kashe mutane garin suka shiga suka ce ba yaro ba babba ko ga kaga gura mu ne da ke ma aka sa mu Allah ya taimake mu aka yawo maheta wallahi da ke da aka kamu ma an hajbe shi da ya koma an ka sai wallahi da kat suke ba mu sai da wasu suke ba an kashe wasu an an hajbe wasu wasu na nan da rayuwar su alhali wasu sun yi sokoto cewa mutane mu dai ba mu san inda sun kai ba mun ko muna nan cikin gwaran wasu The aroma of freshly baked oche. Of spicy tea brewing. This used to be the life in old Zamfara. Now, a brutal chapter unfolds in Nigeria's northwest. It may not look it, but Zamfara is quietly raging. It is the explosive focal point of northwest Nigeria. Across 14 local government areas, bandits have been unleashing mindless violence. Many flee to Guso, the state capital, for its relative safety, as villages become too dangerous to live in. When night falls, Bilki Ibrahim and Hawau gather their children to their ramshackle shelter. Over 200,000 people have been displaced and over 6,000 deaths have been reported since May 2011. If you look at uh, Zambia states, Almost 70% of communities are facing such issues of insecurity. And if you go by the history, it's inherited problem. As we come over, definitely our constituent must keep on calling us regarding what they are pace and in terms of uh, let me just cite example my constituency i'm from Sape west if you look at number one we have a road that started from wanki to kucheri that road if you look at all the towns and villages around that area are faced with security challenges. These bandits are there not yesterday, not today, not last month, for years, of which this government security is under exclusive list. As state assembly, we are not having power over security personnel. Our governor try his best by first of all meeting with service chiefs, 
engaging brigade commandant, CP, all other security agents that are in Zambra State to make sure that this problem subsidizes to minimal level. Bordered to the north by Niger Republic, to the south by Kaduna, to the east by Kasina, and to the west by Sokoto, the crisis reflects a unique history. For over 15 years, armed bandits have been gaining ground in the outskirts of Guso, the state capital. Zerfe and Anka are probably worst hit. They kidnap for ransom and flee through the harsh desert lands bothering these states. An Ankara government uh, is actually in a terrible situation in terms of uh, banditry attacks. Almost about 15 to, uh, to 17 years now, we are facing that uh, problem of banditry. No area, no village, no ward, no district that is not affected. No hour. No minute, no second, that you cannot see bandits moving around, attacking our people, killing, kidnapping, taking all their belongings, especially cows, sheep, camels, even this ordinary chicken. The bandits hacked out entire villages, never mind ordinary citizens living in abject poverty. A recurring story of injustice. The situation is so dire, the religious leaders organize prayers seeking divine intervention. The state is crumbling under economic burden. A backlog of salaries for civil servants and arrears for pensioners means scarce resources are spread thin. Ironically, the state is blessed with natural resources such as gold and iron ore. Some conflict researchers say the natural bounties may be at the center of the years long crises. An increase in mining activities in 2009 may have attracted bandits and others seeking to exploit the natural resource. You cannot handle security situation without money. And if you don't have money, you cannot do anything. We inherited three months salary, almost four months salary. And if you do not pay such salary, what will happen? You are like worsening the security situation. Habiba Lowley vividly remembers the day the bandits came to her village. Two of Habiba's seven children still remain in captivity. By 2015, as Nigeria's economic fortunes declined, Zamfara was one of the worst hit. Inadequate social safety nets, lack of employment, and an unskilled workforce was the perfect formula for an upsurge in crime. 
the home of farming gradually morphed into an infamous hotbed of banditry. Cattle rustling, kidnapping for ransom and criminal displacement of locals to ransack mineral resources. At heart of this crisis is a battle for precious stones and mineral resources. Beneath Zamfara's fertile lands lie some of the most lucrative gold deposits in the world. The collaboration of local criminal elements and higher level interests have birthed a nightmare for the innocent citizens caught in the crossfire. A campaign of destabilization by fermenting crises. The fallout, over 2,000 people have been internally displaced. Like refugees from a war zone, women and children line the streets. No food, no health care, no education at the mercy of strangers. Once upon a time, Zamfara, nicknamed the home of farming, thrived. Now, the hills and cutlasses tilling the soil have been replaced by the ricochet of automatic rifles, the sound of death. Poverty fuels a shared sense of class discrimination and economic deprivation. The result, bloodshed beyond imagination. By 2019, the crisis heightened. Curiously, the state's internal revenue increased to 15 billion naira compared to only 8 billion naira in 2018. By 2021, the internal revenue rose to 18 billion naira, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. Yet, 78% of the population continue to live in poverty, compared to 40% of the rest of Nigeria. As economic opportunities plunge, the simmering ideas of injustice have exploded into terrorism. The villagers' lives have been disrupted. Farmers can no longer go to farms. Jahazan <laughs> Sussan <laughs> 
to a dumbabo and none Zamala head. A bombazi Wakan. Uncle Akadi Sanam, Motuman Daj, Yena de Sania, Yena Kaswa, Yena de Aquea, Yena Tunkia, Yena de Kaza, Yena de Zabi. Motaki and Lua Dora Tazu acquitted the day that I wanted to say she. Yellow Babu Kuguda Baba Gana Numa, Baba Gana Kaswa. As woman, I am a Gareba, I own what I heard on Pontua. A maga mutani, the awakened to be a manikinima a mutata. A mala don't to my yoga, you are lying about the Shiva. To a mother is all lying, I got mota, I got hot on the moto tea. Come on, Katima moto tea. By the way, I'm going to end the Katita Kimpo and Gasso than the Mofa. Ah, the Kaga so yas, I'm sure go. And go on Galan Kurench and Gahaya Katan Sado. The Sauron Sudan there and the Suna Haya Wolenshan Kahida Sawan Ben Negaskia, where I am a subchi. A said the Sauron and Wolong Panga and Wolent and Sado, don't believe it and then the Sauron Sud. The Suna Mukil of Allah, the Obongi, yes, Sana, Ali, or Anka and Samos of Subchi, Suma Allah, Obengi, a Kamos, or Jew, and one Loka Chi, Suma Samos, or Abago and Gala Amora, the Aki Chikidas. To rebuild the grassroots economic infrastructure, farmers must feel safe enough to return home. In November, dry heat blankets the streets. The internally displaced have no shade from the scorching sun. They litter the streets begging for food. <laughs> bare wannan ba a gwada lokaci sai ya hita yana dan samo haka ne mai bashi kwabo mai bashi dari dan nama lalle haka ana dan bakashi ya ta ya samo guda ya kawo mai yara komawa ta biyu to sai naga kawai an ka kamo mun shi an shigo mun da shi cikin gida the crisis in zamfara is not an ethnic nor religious conflict it was spawned by power politics and lack of social justice it is quite simply an economic battle for scarce resources, fueled by inadequate social services, illiteracy and greed. With no accountability for perpetrators of violence and even less protection of the vulnerable, the cycle of injustice continues. <laughs>